Today I wanted to make another quick video about tone. More specifically, I wanted to talk a little bit about Getty Lee's bass tone and how to achieve it, but more broadly, this video is just about how to achieve an aggressive bass tone while also being able to play uh, like technically difficult things. I remember when I was young and I would listen to guys like Getty Lee or Chris Squire who plays with a pick, and I, I wasn't able to understand like how are they playing all the stuff that they're playing and, and how are they achieving this super aggressive, punchy sound? When I was a younger bass player, like the rest of us, I would try to play Rush and it would kind of sound like this. Even though I was playing the right notes, nothing about the tone felt quite right. You know, I would hear him do all these incredibly impressive things, like the solos in YYZ, or some of the stuff from Xanadu, or Livia Strangiato, and I didn't get, like, how is he playing this so aggressively and digging in so hard, but also still playing so fast? What I didn't realize was that Getty Lee, and, you know, all the guys like him, they have a tremendous amount of depth in their playing. The reason they're able to play so aggressively and with so much intensity, and also still execute all this stuff correctly, is because they've developed their hand strength. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that if you want to sound like Getty Lee or Chris Squire or even someone like Jack Bruce or Jack Cassidy, whatever, John Entwistle, any of these people, you have to make a really concentrated effort over a long period of time to develop your hand strength. <laughs> stuff it doesn't just apply to Getty Lee it applies to like any bass players even bass players who play with a pick so you know when we first start playing with a pick it kind of sounds like a lot of times we're just not playing with enough strength and remember strength is something that you have to develop over time with good practicing if you want to do a Chris Squire kind of feel it should sound like this If you want step-by-step -step instruction on how to get this stuff worked in your practice routine or just, you know, general help with hand strength, uh, please click the link in my bio or DM me, reach out to me. I teach Skype lessons. Uh, I teach people all around the world. So it doesn't matter if you're living in Indonesia or if you're living right here in Boston, uh, we can work together. So shoot me a message, like I said, or click the link in my bio and we can do some lessons together.